Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing something with this first generation Apple TV and today we are going to try and run OSMC on this thing. So OSMC is a piece of software that can be installed on the Apple TV first generation along with the Raspberry Pi and it's basically a new operating system which has lots of new features which the original software on this Apple TV doesn't have. Now I know that OSMC is no longer supported on the Apple TV, they cut off support a few years ago, there's an article about that on their website, but it should still give us some features that isn't available on the Apple TV as standard and it's just a little bit of fun so today we're going to see if we can get that to work but I'm not going to install it on the internal drive of this Apple TV because I want to preserve the original software so what we are going to do is run it as a sort of live USB on this 16 gigabyte USB stick I've got here so now let's hop over to the computer and see if we can get this software installed on the USB. Okay, here we are on the OSMC website and specifically on the download page. Here's my USB, I'll plug that into the computer now. And what we are going to do now we've plugged that in is we are going to go and download. I'm on Windows, so let's go and get that. Here it is, OSMC installer. Yes, we're going to go ahead with that. Language, English, what would you like it to be on? Okay, so we want it to be on the Apple TV, so we'll select that. Next, what version would you like? Okay, so this is the important bit. So the ones that say HDD at the end will be installed on the internal Apple TV drive. The ones that say USB are the live USB option. So we are going to go for the latest live USB one. Make sure that, yep, yeah, that is the right one. Let's go on to next and let's choose the device that we want. So where would you like it to be installed? I believe this is the right one. Let's just refresh. Yep, this is the right one, about 16 gigabytes, I think. So, yep, yeah, let's go ahead with that. I accept all of that and then let's click next. Alright, clicking next now and it is downloading. So it's going to grab the software and then it should be able to install. I'll come back once this has done. Alright, we're nearly done with the download now. 98, 99, 100. Now it is installing. Are you sure you want to write OSMC to the media you selected? Okay and they are not responsible for loss of data. Now I'm pretty sure I got the right drive, so let's just go with yes. And let's see if this works. Now is writing the image to my media. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, you're ready for showtime. So it looks like that has now finished. So let's click quit. We can shut out of that. I'll get the USB stick out of my computer, plug it into the Apple TV, turn it on and see what happens. Okay, here's the Apple TV. I've plugged in HDMI as well as the USB. And as soon as I plug the power cord in, it should boot up. HDMI is selected on the TV. Here's the power cable. I'm going to try and plug this in and hopefully it should boot up. The orange light is now flashing on the Apple TV. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got a picture of the Apple TV with Tux the Linux Penguin sat on top of it. So I'm assuming that it is now loading. Okay, we've got some text on the screen. I don't really know what it's saying, but we've got a cursor that just came up and now it's gone black. Okay, OSMC formatting device. We've got a loading bar as well. Installing files. Okay, now it says OSMC installed successfully, so now let's see what happens. I've got my remote control here as well, hopefully this should work. So let's see, no signal, looks like it's coming back on. There's, we are, we've got the logo again with Tux, taking its time here, but that's kind of to be expected. This is an old machine. And there we have the logo for OSMC. Okay, we've now got a black screen, and there we go. It looks like we have booted into the new operating system. Okay, we've now got a welcome screen where I guess we need to select the language. Now let's see 
if the Apple remote still works. And yes, it does so. Now let's go down to English, select that. Yes, we want English. Time zone, let's go down. I assume it'll be in Europe. Let's go all the way down. And let's go with London. Now, give the device a name, we'll just keep it as default. Yes, we'll leave that. And here is all the license information, we can just continue. Let's set up networking later, I just want to get into this. Now let's go with OSMC. No thanks, we don't want the newsletter. Now that is it. Nice. Here we are, we are now in the operating system. And as you can see, I am now controlling it with the remote, which is very nice to see. So looking in settings, here it looks like we are now at 1080p. The standard Apple TV with its standard software is only 720p, but it looks like we are now outputting at 1080, which is nice to see. So yeah, that is quite cool. I'm just having a look through the settings here, just to see if there's anything I can change. And I think now I am going to add internet access. So I've just had a little bit of a play around with it here and everything seems to be working just fine. So I think that that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it was interesting in some way and maybe a little bit useful. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.